Hello, my name's Julianne Ovenden and I'm a freelance conservator working with museums in the east of England. I'm going to demonstrate labelling a textile museum object with its accession number. You need to put the label somewhere it's easily visible, but not visible when the object is on display. If it's too delicate to stitch to, you could always tie on a label around a buttonhole or so. It's often useful to add a tie-on label as well. I'm not going to wear gloves whilst I label this object because it's very difficult to sew in gloves, so I have freshly washed my hands. Firstly, I'm going to write the number on a piece of cotton tape. To make this easier, I'm going to pin the tape to a piece of plastic foam. Now I'm going to write the number. This is using a waterproof permanent marker pen, a laundry marker. Then unpin your cotton tape and cut off the amount you need. I'm going to attach this in a loop. Hello, my name's Julianne Ovenden and I'm a freelance conservator working with museums in the east of England. I'm going to demonstrate labelling a textile museum object with its accession number. You need to put the label somewhere it's easily visible but not visible when the object is on display. If it's too delicate to stitch to, you could always tie on a label around a buttonhole or so. It's often useful to add a tie-on label as well. I'm not going to wear gloves whilst I label this object because it's very difficult to sew in gloves, so I have freshly washed my hands. Firstly, I'm going to write the number on a piece of cotton tape. To make this easier, I'm going to pin the tape to a piece of plaster soap foam. Now I'm going to write the number. This is using a waterproof permanent marker pen, a laundry marker. Then unpin your cotton tape and cut off the amount you need. I'm going to attach this in a loop. So first I'm going to stitch the ends together like that and then attach it to the object. Firstly, put a few stitches in to secure the end of your thread. Then, another couple of stitches, running stitches, just along the edge to pull it together. And then you can sew it to your object. You want to choose somewhere that will be out of the way but also easy to find. 
You also need to look at what your object's made of, as sometimes you don't want to stitch to it because the holes will be too visible. In this case, I'm going to stitch it to the zip. Again, just using a loose running stitch. It's a couple of stitches in. And then finish it off with back stitch. Then cut off the loose thread. In this instance, I'm also going to attach a tie on label to the strap. So, again, acid free tie on tag. Write your number on. and then loosely attach it. Key points to remember when labelling a textile object. Always think about where you're going to position the label so it doesn't damage the object or isn't visible whilst it's on display. Write on the tape with a waterproof permanent pen. A laundry pen is a good one. Use long, loose stitches. You can always tie on a label if you don't think you can sew one on, especially if the object is delicate. An example of this is putting it through the buttonhole. You can find more information about labelling and marking museum objects on the SHARE website and on Collections Link. In particular, you might find the Labelling and Marking of Museum Objects booklet very useful.